Hi, I'm Mona with the Office for Mac Group. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can work with Excel spreadsheets that contain Visual Basic macros. As you might have heard, Office 2008 removed support for Visual Basic. This is true and was a difficult engineering decision. However, until the next version of Office for Mac, here's one way to get around this limitation. In Excel 2008, when you open a workbook that contains a Visual Basic macro, you'll see this alert with some options for how you can deal with it. Instead of using these options, I'm going to open the workbook in Excel 2004. As you can see, both Office 2004 and Office 2008 are installed side by side on this computer, which makes it possible to run both versions of Excel at the same time. Now when I open the same workbook in Excel 2004, on the alert, I have the option to enable the macro. And here in the workbook, run it, which generates a table of data and a chart. Now after you run the macro, you'll need to save the workbook. You can either leave Excel 2004 running or quit. I'm going to leave it running since there's no problem running both versions at the same time. Then jump back over to Excel 2008 and open the workbook again. This time on the alert, I'll click Open, which ignores any macros. And you can see that the sheet contains the data and the chart created by running the macro in Excel 2004. Of course, now you can use any of the Excel 2008 features, such as enhanced charting, to work with the macro created data. So that's one way to work with Visual Basic Macros in Excel 2008. Check out Help or the Office for Mac website for more information about working with Visual Basic Macros, as well as alternatives for using AppleScript instead.